John here, guys, and today we're here with GetBarC's Mark V, their new bind and fly or build it yourself solution that attempts to give you one solution whether you choose to buy it or build it, as it's going after both the top spot on the current bind and fly market, the Roma V2 and the iFlight Nazgul V2 as well as custom-built solutions like this AOS 5.5. A lot of times you're going to go through picking out every piece of the puzzle for yourself. That's part of the fun of building. But when you buy it, you're ready to fly that much faster and you have parts that are specifically made to go and fly together like this, engineered to work in unison. Gipper C has long been in the bind and fly game, making some interesting options, but with the MK5 line, they are shooting for the goal of toppling the current king of the mountains, the Diatone Roma and the iFlight Nazgul. Gipper C accomplishes this by going with a more premium motor option than traditionally offered with those to one that is more often seen on a premium model like the Evoke line, but manages to keep the price point at a mid-range level. You can buy the complete bind and fly package, just bind your radio and go fly. But perhaps what is even nicer is that you can assemble all the components yourself, the frame, the motors, the electronics, and build your own. This is a key feature of buying into any system because it means should you break an arm or burn a motor, you won't have any problem getting spares. The Speedex motors, the 2107.5 and 1960KB, a size that has recently been made by RC in power, and I believe they are the motor manufacturer for GetBarC, is absolute premium level. A unique bell design gives you not only stunning good looks, but a decent amount of bell thickness, providing protection for those hits. In addition to that, the frame itself has an excellent amount of motor protection, bolstered even further by 3D printed arm guards that give you even more crashability. Speaking of the prints, the kit comes with a variety of fantastically printed pieces, including the front and rear chin spoilers, GoPro mount, and antenna mounting for HD or analog, and receiver mounting as well. The two piece top plate means that you can easily swap out the HD camera mounting solutions with only four screws, meaning that you don't need to be able to remove your entire top plate. This was an extreme bonus switching from the Runcam 5 to the Insta360 GO 1RS by just changing straps as it comes with some Mr. Steel style foam couch mounting pieces. What puts it up towards the top of the heap though? is the little touches, the wires protection that makes it look and feel much more like a consumer grade product that you might purchase at Best Buy rather than a scratch built garage concoction, the smoothly cut carbon that's slightly beveled and the immaculately CNC'd and protective metal front cage. This is an example where a builder may choose this frame over another one of the popular custom options, not just to save a few bucks, but to take advantage of all these features. Now you can buy the bind and fly version of this, which Barbell says is one of the better options on the market as of today. Your standard five mil thick arms. Now I do like the motor protection on this arm end right here. It goes out very far forward and it has a, a dual locking piece right here. So that means you should not have any arm wiggle. Let's take a look at the plates. Now this is kind of the new trend lately to have a shortened bottom slash middle plate. That means you're gonna have a sandwich where these squish the arms in there to reduce wiggle. And it also reduces the length that these individual pieces have to be. That very short top plate. So this is going to be a nice thin build um, to kind of get rid of all of those frills but still have GoPro mounting ability. Let's in addition to these stickers, they give you a nice little exploded view. You're actually going to have the front kind of running like this with the rear like this and these nuts up at the top. This is actually nice because everything comes in a separate little baggie and they're all actually labeled. So there's like a small key piece that fits in here. The arms meet in the middle here and they also meet on the sides here. So these are going to kind of go 
Um, these bottom pieces are gonna go like that. So how does it fly exceptionally well on just a basic 4.3 freestyle preset? The combination carries a full-size camera effortlessly and something smaller and lighter like the Runcam 5 leaves you with even more power and speed than most would know what to do with. If you're shopping for a bind and fly, I would now put this a half step above the Roma V2 and the Nazgul V2. All three being excellent and not really being able to make a bad choice out of any of them. But this one edges out the top spot with some of the features in play. What are you shopping for these days? And do you prefer to buy it or build it? These days with chip shortage pricing soaring through the roof, your bind and fly solutions end up being quite a bit cheaper than building yourself. Something that is in sharp contrast to when most of us who've been in the hobby for a while started. So most people will say build it yourself to save, but it's actually kind of the opposite now in 2022. Either way, the Mark V system has you covered.